Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how I use the new latch preview mode for automation in Reaper using a cycle action. Let's start off by listening to this track. It's a synthwave track. Let's play. So let's start off with uh, some EQ on this, this part five synth that sounds like this. So I want to filter that to start with. So let's say that's my starting point for this synth and, and it'll change later on in the track. So I'm gonna make a time selection for the area that I want to change. I've got my action transition time set to five milliseconds, so it's gonna be a very short time to change the EQ here. We're going to start off with kind of doing it manually, setting this to latch preview mode. I'm going to touch the parameters that uh, I want to change. So I've just changed the high shelf frequency also change the gain and the frequency for um, band three. So it's going to start off doing nothing, and then it's going to change. In this section, we can loop this section, make changes. Also change the fader level. And we're happy with this. I'm gonna run my action to uh, commit these changes to this section. I have that assigned to the letter L. All right. So now we can set this track to read mode and we can watch these settings change. Um, from here to here, and there's a five millisecond transition time. It's super short. Let's do that again because the first thing did not change. Okay, so that's sort of the slower way of doing this. The quicker way is to use a cycle action. So extensions, cycle action editor, and I've got this action here, global override all automation in latch preview mode. Then you do all of your automation changes for that section. And you press the button again, it will write the current values for the actively writing envelopes to time selection. That was that letter L that I was pressing before. And then it's going to set all the tracks to read mode. So it'll read back the automation that was written. All right, 
So I have that set to the letter P. I think the toms on tracks 8, 9, and 10 are a little quiet. I'm gonna press P to engage latch preview mode for the entire project. Anything I touch will add envelope lanes to the project, and then I can make my changes there. So tracks, these three tracks, I believe they are. Actually, I want them up. Yeah, that's right. I press P, that commits the automation to the lanes just within the time selection, and it's changed the global mode back to read. So let's go on to this synth. Press P, go into preview mode. Oops. Oops, that was the fader for track eight, that's fine. Where's the lead? There we go. I think it's probably a better level. Moving on to the next section. Press P again. That synth is definitely too loud. I also need some EQ on it, so let's go into the EQ. Go out of last preview automation. And it's written those changes. Go in again, we're going to adjust these two tracks. Okay, write that. Move on to the next section. What do we have? Part five is a little loud here. No, actually, I want it here. That's a good volume there and here. Up a little bit. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I can kind of do all my automation just by making time selection changes, pressing P to start automating, press P when I'm done automating, and then move on to the next section. Uh, so once again, that cycle action, setting the entire project to latch preview mode, then you do your automation, then you uh, write the current values for actively writing envelopes to the time selection. That means any envelope that is red here. So if I touch this, it turns red. That means it's actively writing. And if I don't want to commit a certain change that I've made, I can unarm it here. And then finally, the last step is the cycle action is to set all the tracks to read mode. So before we had this preview automation mode, I didn't think that I would need it. This mode actually makes me use my controllers a lot more and makes me think about automation kind of a different way. I'm probably going to stick with latch preview mode forever now. I will export this cycle action so you guys can try it out and uh, see how you like it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the website with a monthly donation through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.